Hi friends, today I'm training on coding meetup number seven, higher order function series, find the most senior developer. So in this kata, uh, you will be given a list and you have to return only these elements, uh, only these uh, developers who are the oldest. And uh, that, that basically means if there are multiple oldest developers, you should return multiple. Otherwise, if there is just one senior, most senior person, you are returning him or her. So, uh, first of all, let's, as always, let's move to the test section. And today we have, wow, we have a lot of lot of uh, data in our tests but that doesn't matter we are starting as always with the expect statement and we get to expect as always from the chai search library i'm changing uh, these wires to be const just not to distract me And if you would notice, uh, they they have they have done this in a way that we have the list and we have the answer. Then we have a list and the answer, and so on and so on. Me personally, I I'm not a big fan of this structure, uh, so I'm going to change it a little bit, and uh, I'm going to move. I will move the answer one, answer two, and answer three inside my it uh, blocks, right? But first I have to do my describe block. So find senior, right? It gets a callback. Inside this callback we will have three it statements. So first one is works that list one right second one will be works with list two third one will be works with list three but before i do that i'm going to copy like cut and paste the answer one inside here and i'm going to rename it to just be expected Okay, so my expected is what used to be answer one. Then I expect find senior, find senior bit list one to be, this time the, I am using the deep equal, so I'm typing equal and it should be deep equal to expected, right? So same thing goes for a second it statement. It oh, works that list two. And I'm copying again this this answer to it is becoming expected and i expect find senior list two to be equal deep equal to expected again Okay, so this time, this time to just make sure that you understand that uh, in each case it is this except this expected, and in the first case it's this expected, right? We can do that because uh, const is block scoped, right? Finally, works with list three. And moving my 
list three right here. Renaming it to be expected. And again, rewriting the same thing, expect, find senior list three to be equal expected. Okay, so we don't need uh, these guys anymore. You can delete them. And let's make sure I'm not, I have not made any typing mistakes. So list one, list one, list two, list two, list three, and list three right here. So I think the tests are good. Let's move to the actual solution. So I'll give you a moment to think about what would be a good, a good solution for Viscata. Uh, I myself, I, I was like, I'm, I'm really on the fence. I have like, uh, I have like two, two main ideas. Okay. So idea number one, use reduce. Okay, because the reduce is like the machine gun. It can can do a lot a lot of damage to can can kill most of the katas. So idea number two would be use uh, use um, find to get the oldest person and then use filter to to get to filter out the younger developers younger than the oldest one right uh, maybe it's I, I think I got like a bit of better idea maybe it's not find maybe I just sort the elements by age then get the first one because that would be the oldest and then the First one is the oldest person, and then use filter to filter out. Right? Uh, okay. Let's let's see. Do I have any more ideas? Not now, but let's start with reduce. Maybe I will come up with something, and. Just, just a quick warning. This time it's not. Uh, it's it's like level six, kata, like six Q. So it's it's gonna be more difficult. Okay, let's see. It's the most difficult of the series uh, so far. So find senior is I get a list. I do list reduce. Uh, let's think what what will like before I do any or I, I can do like my initial R and V and that's the function what would be a good starting point I think an empty array would be an excellent starting point because I I will have to return an array and uh, array would would be a good choice in this case or you know what I think I got a better idea maybe I will leave that empty and just get the first element as the initial one right so that 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 kind of is even more logical to me right now the first one is the first one like the second one has to be older to replace the first one otherwise the first one is considered the, the oldest so far 
So, what will I be returning? So, uh, R, right? But R is R is an element, right? So I will I should have an array otherwise. Uh, let's let's see how that how that would work out. I still ha I still would have to wrap it inside. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's stick to my initial solution. Let's start. It's it should be an array, so let's start with an array. So how to how to solve this? How to how to do this checks right? So first of all, a uh, really easy one. I have to make sure that this R exists, right? So R is zero. I mean, this first element should exist because I'm starting out; it will be empty. So I'm making sure that it exists, and then I check if it has the first element of this R has an H prop. It has an H greater than the element H, right? So that's that's gonna be the check. That's gonna be the check. So that true part here and false part here. So if it has elements and this R, the first one is greater, that's uh, very easy, I'm just returning the R itself, right? This will be the else scenario is gonna be more difficult. Let's say they are the same age. So again, I will have to check if it exists, right? If this R0 exists and R0 dot H, that's just the first element. Uh, if there are multiple elements, they all have the same age. That that so I can choose any, but I'm guaranteed that that the first one exists, right? So if it is equal to the dot age, then what do you do then? Uh, I have to append to the existing array this new value, right? And I do that using this syntax. I spread out the initial array and I add the new element. Finally, no, it's it's like this V. Either either this one this R0 is not there or the H is R0 age is like less than the V H. That's very easy. Just return V wrapped inside an array. Okay. Let's check if that works. Run examples. Great, that that worked. So it it works with with all the all the all my tests. But look, we have like two ideas, right? Let's let's try to do the other one. Okay, let's see which one is better. So const find senior is equal to list. Uh, I'm not sure I can do that in line, so let's let, let me do that like the old-fashioned way, not not in line. So I will get the oldest by sorting the list, right, and getting the oldest person, then filtering it. So to sort, always be sure before you sort that you create a new array with all the same elements because sort kind of modifies not kind of but like modifies the uh, original the original array and that's not great so sort uh, do you think the sort would work like that uh, actually no it wouldn't because that's it these are objects and sort does not do a great job by default on objects strings yes but objects not so much so I'm passing a callback, really easy callback, very common, you, you, you will use that all the time. And since I want to have the oldest one first, so I will do b dot h, right, minus a dot h, okay? 
So that will give me this callback, make sure that this is just sorted out from the oldest to the youngest. And I don't need everybody, I just need the oldest one. And finally, I'm returning list filter, right? I'm filtering out the young ones. And their v.h is equal to oldest dot age. So this way I get the oldest object, right? The object of the oldest person. And then I am filtering out this, uh, filtering out everybody who has not the exact same age. But since I'm absolutely sure that it's only the oldest one, oldest guy, so that actually should work. Let's try that. Let's see if that actually works. Great, so that actually works. Uh, so while I was writing, I think I, we, can, we can do a bit of a different a uh, different way to do that. Not sure that's it's, if it's going to be better, but idea number three. So first of all, what I do is get all the ages in an array, then get the max value and then filter filter out the young developers right so that would be a, a take on the second idea so const find senior but i think it will be more efficient list So this time I will get the actual age, so const oldest age is, so I, I will be, I will be getting, first of all, let's map it, right? So list map, and I only care about the age property, right? So I'm only taking that out, and I'm returning that immediately, okay? So that, that will give me just an array, array of ages. Then I have to wrap that with math max, right? But that won't work because math max does not accept arrays as arguments. Luckily, we can spread this array like, like we do always. So we spread this array to the math max and that makes sure that we get, we get the actual oldest stage. And then it will be exactly the same. List filter b where b dot age is actually exactly the same thing as oldest age. Right? So let's comment out this one. And let's check the third solution if that works. Looks like it does. So great. Uh, I hope I hope that you learned uh, something from this kata. Uh, I have used three different uh, functions, like four different even functions: list reduce, list sort, and list filter, and then list map. And all of them are like very useful. So make sure, make sure that you understand what is happening right here. And I hope you liked it. See you in the next kata. Bye friends.